game, though, and most survival horror games are pretty decent. Made by X Seed. Weird. Hello. Howdy, y'all. How you guys doing? I am here. I am ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. No, uh, Final Fantasy 16. Let's go. I, <laughs> I'd love to say we were missing breath. So I was looking. We're on part 15, right? Or stream 15 of it, of the game. And I was like, how perfect would it be if it was the 16th game that we officially try to play through to completion, like on a on a somewhat schedule? Um, Final Fantasy 16, right? And we beat it in 16 streams. That would be perfect. But I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> There's a small part of me that I was wondering, like, because it's the middle of July right now, right? At time of stream. And I was considering, like, I have a vacation in August. And I was like, maybe I could do, like, an extra long stream and just play the game until it's done for part 16. But, like, I one, I don't want to wait that long. And two, I don't know how much is actually left. If it ends up being like 30 more hours of the game, I would probably just die. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, I don't know, man. I really, really, really would like to do that. To finish it in 16 streams for Final Fantasy 16, 16th stream plays thing. But I think that's going to happen. Also, hello to the YouTube. Hello, hello. Oh, man. I really need to upload stuff to YouTube. Um, the schedule is still being met like there's still uploads for vods every other day but it has been at least like a couple weeks worth of videos that are behind like not being uploaded or haven't been uploaded yet i'll get around to it eventually speak with mid's assistant who's right here couldn't it have just been part of the same oh, cutscene? is this about the helm it is uh, yes mid said i should speak with you i'll show you the plans then here you see the mithril engine in which mithril is burned to generate Wait, heat. Wait, we're burning that the mithril? Is then harnessed to produce motive I force. thought when they called it a mithril Excess engine, it was just like built of mithril or something of like that. Thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Isn't mithril now, like extremely... Were to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect... The rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement. Valuable? The <laughs> I couldn't think of words, words, dude. I'm fucking dumb. The reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why, if sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. <laughs> the forces produced would tear the ship. So what I'm hearing is, you just built an amazing bomb. Mid said we might be able to use like screw all this ruin. dominion stuff, Where man, find it? or dominant ah, stuff. Yes. It's we just Norbert's built near Lost a medieval like nuke, the essentially. Is, well, <laughs> we could just drop that on to have the pieces we need the, the somebody. Sooner. I don't know. I guess we don't have certain, problems with like anyone in particular. Just the whole world. <laughs> Are we the villains? It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking. The more I'm thinking about it, the more we're like the villains in this story, aren't we? We're the ones trying to that. destroy the world. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with. It just so happens that. We care for slaves, and oh, the rest much. of the world doesn't. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather but other than that, we're kind of the dicks away. in this story, aren't we'll we? Outside the ruins. That never occurred to me before. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well. Look, as long as we win this war, we get to say we weren't the dicks all along. So we just got to make sure we win. And problem solved. Might lead well meaning souls to leave her alone. She has it how she likes it. I'm guessing that's an old married couple. If they're not, I'd be very surprised. Okay, so what are we actually doing? Make for Lorbert's Pass, as that's where we need to collect the ship from. Okay, we can do that. Uh, let's double check the hunt board real quick, though. See if there's any hints on where that mystery hunt is. Might as well check the renown, too. I can't remember when the next renown was being unlocked, but. 
should be relatively close to it. Nate, what's up, my guy? What you doing today, man? Your benefactors are a generous lot. So 550. We are at 510. Best of luck out there, Sid. None of that right now. Hello, Nectar. You cute as always. Uh, any hints on this hunt? The Breaker of Worlds. Mark rank S. So that's going to be a hard one. Urgent notice to all curse breakers due to the discovery of a fallen giant in the Rosarian Ruins. So Rosarian Ruins. Um, so that would be somewhere up around Rosaria then. Which conveniently just happens to be the area we're going to more or less. Or no wait, that's not Rosarian Ruins, that's Northwing. Up around here somewhere. Rosarian Ruins. So would it be like in this area maybe? That's East Pool. Da, 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 three re okay, there's no like new areas that we just unlocked, right? Doesn't look like it. We're gonna take a quick trip from the dim, I think, down here to East Pool and see if we find anything along the way. If not, then so be it. Poor de Solde. Oh, damn it. Yeah, that's all part of the same thing here. The Lazarus District, no. Second train place. Ox. There's this area here, but we haven't unlocked it yet. Whatever's over there. So yeah, best guess is somewhere around here because I know there's some ruins up around this way. At least I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if there's what we're looking for. Probably not. And it did say something about like the village gates, and there is of course the the village here, the one that was absolutely destroyed by whatever troops came through whenever we came through not too long ago. So maybe it makes some level of sense to me at least. Don't expect to find much here in the blight. A lot of potions and things along this path, though. Which is handy. Because we're probably low on them. I'm still so mad about this door, dude. Like, why is this door here if it never opens? <laughs> I just want in the damn door, man. I'm hoping they release, like, a DLC or something at some point that lets us explore that stuff more. But I don't know how the game actually ends, but I have heard of the post credit sequence for the game. Like, what happens at the, the very, very end. And it doesn't sound like they're setting it up to have any more content. But I can think of a way they could do it. I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to spoil it, but... Okay, so nothing here. Travel to the other side of East Pool, see if there's anything. The fact that there's foot pads or whatever in here, though. Yeah, foot pads. Kind of makes me think probably not. Like, if there's some extremely dangerous mark around here, would foot pads really be chilling? I wouldn't, man. I'd be getting the hell out of here. If there was some S rank beast marching around murdering everybody. You dead. Hedge wizard. Well, hello, hedge wizard. Attack. 
You know, Deadly Embrace isn't too bad when it actually, like, works. <laughs> I just find a lot of times the enemies we're fighting end up being too large for Deadly Embrace to actually do anything. So I don't end up using it all that much, but it's actually pretty convenient with the, with the small dudes. This is the other side of East Bull, so probably not then. Unless it's like tucked away back in there. I'd be mad at myself if I didn't check and it ended up being there. So let's check over here in her house real quick. Or the outside of her house. Probably not though. That scarecrow just comes to life and starts murdering us when we go through here. Like, wait, how do we get over there? Can we? Yeah, it's on the map. Bruh. Why would they block that off? <laughs> if it was ever an accessible area, which, I mean, I assume it is since the it's on the map. Why would they block it off? Well, okay then. Uh, we'll check right outside East Pool, and then we'll go continue the main storyline. I'm guessing it's not here. So where else would it be? I mean, there's a lot of ruined cities in Dalmechia. The Dalmechian area. But we went through a lot of them and didn't find anything last time. Rosalia, that... I'm not mistaken, right? That is this general area, Rosalia. I'm pretty sure. I wish it would, like, clear the marker whenever you get to it. That'd be handy. Instead of making me go on the map and do it. Hmm. Okay, well. We'll find that hunt eventually. Potentially on accident. <laughs> Just run around trying to do some stupid side quest or something. That thing's going to pop up and murder us, probably, but... I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. So, wait. If we hadn't done that side quest before continuing this, would that side quest have been lost? Not that there was anything important in it, but... Or are they just now leaving Lost Wing because we did that side quest? You haven't much, but you're free to look. Do you have music? The Wages of Warcraft. Wait, don't we have that already? Or at least something very similar? Ah, oh, yes. Uh, Strength Punk Stone Skin. Ugh. Don't care. Uh, da -da -da -da. Fighting the, good fight. the wages of war. Gear and icons. Direwolf Jess? No. Eric's medallion, berserker ring. Yeah, the wages of Warcraft. We do. Huh. I wonder if they stack. If we bought two of them. I'm not going to, because we don't need ability points that bad, but whenever or if ever we do decide to grind out the abilities, that would be a really handy way to do it. An extra 40% from battles, that add up quick. One of these days I need to just reset <laughs> everybody's points, man. <laughs> Reset everybody's points and put it back to something reasonable <laughs> that you can gamble away. That is a ridiculous number of points. I wish I had a way to just, like, set up the spending of points. Obviously, I can with, like, Twitch points, but with the Streamlabs points... <laughs> Yeah. 
because I'd love to, like, let you guys gamble them and shit like that, but to try and make more, but then use them to, like, vote on games or something. I just don't know if there's any automated way to, to do that sort of thing. Or, I mean, I've been saying it for a year. The other option, of course, is just to finally get around to making my own Twitch bot. <laughs> just still something I'd love to do. Just time. Hello, Helena. Oh, there you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? <laughs> of course. I'll be right back. I mean, if you want us to go slay the beast, man, you can just say that. I don't know why she's being so coy about it. Well, there's a chest down there. Anybody we collected home? that. Hi, we've killed one of you before, have we not? Time to go. I think you were a hunt once upon a time. Yes, you almost certainly were. I remember the doom. Ow. Your luck streak has ended, sir. It was good while it lasted. <laughs> Only on hiatus. <laughs> I guess the other thing I could do to help you remove your points. Oh god. I could uh just open up the slots to, to have a lot larger selection if if possible. I don't know if that was actually possible or not now that I think about it. The slots might be locked down. Bastard. Just up all the points. <laughs> Not a terrible idea if it's possible. Just because the slots are a lot harder to win. <laughs> Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Bro, I've literally but killed multiple icons. Like, single-handedly taken down. At least right. one. <laughs> I'll let Mid know you're on your way. You were really worried about me fighting a little eyeball dude? I don't think you had anything to worry about, man. So do you know how to work this material? Because wasn't one of the things about the Fallen stuff that, like, nobody knew how to work it? Because it being some exotic material that nobody really understands or some shit. I bought dudes four steps above icon. Damn. It's a strong ass eyeball dude, man. Too bad he's dead. <laughs> he didn't last too long. Why am I collecting this thing over here? It's gonna be pointless. 
literally just wasting time. Yep, two sprigs of alley matter. Ooh. Wait, you got new things at the shop? We were just at the shop. Might as well check it out, I guess. Oh, well, we just... No, we didn't... Yeah, okay, we did just finish up a quest line for one and two. I guess this is actually a different shop. This isn't what I thought it was. I was thinking Lost Wing. Do you see anything you like? Uh, probably not. Breath of Earth? Yeah, I don't care. Oh, 50,000? Do we have anything to sell? Okay, I'm not selling this stuff. This stuff's nice. Or that. Or that. Um, badge of might, badge of metal. Cleric's medallion. I mean, we could sell some of this stuff. It's not like we're ever likely to use it. But I don't really want to either. And some of these things we have just way too many of. Like sharp fangs, 1,384. <laughs> like, bro, we're never going to use that. Is there a way to, like, quicker put it up? Doesn't look like it. How much do we need? We need 5,000. Okay, I'm just going to sell 384 of them. Ooh. Okay, it starts going up quicker the more you hold it. That makes sense. That's the best I can do. And now I'll take your music, please. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. Them nice and I'm not necessarily trying to get the platinum trophy, but like, might as well buy some of the stuff in the meantime. We're not spending our money on anything else. Watch just a hole now. Look at that. Or no, it was here somewhere, wasn't it? Was that hole always there? I don't know. I'm dumb. I can't remember. Okay, new things there. Sure. We'll get our reward. She's got new info for us, too. I don't even remember her name, dude. Welcome to the patron's whisper. <laughs> the map Your lady. Your benefactors are a generous lot. You earned this. Two whole meteorite, dude. <laughs> All that work for two meteorite. Amazing. Thank you. When it comes to boyish charm, goose. You're still got the hots for the same people. <laughs> I didn't know if it changed yet or not. Workshop doesn't even look that bad, to be honest. I don't know what he's talking about with needing help, like, tidying it up. Like, sure, some of this rubble could be cleared out of here, I suppose, but... Like, it's not that bad, man. It all seems relatively organized. Hello, Mid. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop. But those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Hippocrates. Will we get annoyed with the rubble? Nah, that adds flavor, man. Yeah. Right? Some well, personality. I that, obviously. 
I've got all the details just random down corners here. of your Can you take this to workshop being filled it. with chunks of stone. Right away. What about that, like, steel silk stuff that we've used to craft some weapons and things? Isn't it... I mean, I guess maybe it's just strong, not necessarily heat resistant, but... Could we use something like that, maybe? Just a shit ton of layers of it? Also, I just realized the whole reason we started talking to Mid this time around was because we were going to go visit the grave of Sid. I, I don't think we ever visited the grave of Sid. <laughs> we just found her and we're like, hey, we're going to go visit the grave. Would you want to come along? And she was like, nah, I'm busy building this dope ass ship, dude. And we're like, okay, we'll help you build that instead. Fuck your dad. <laughs> like, wow, dude. So at least go say hi still. Pay our respects or whatever. Hippocrates, do you have the moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Pardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the Dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. Wouldn't that still so be a good idea to do? It. it might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection Mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Harpocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. It's like, I'm assuming this ship is going to be important to quests in the future in some way. But like... This feels like such a side quest, man. We're just running around talking to random people. Like, we're not really so doing anything hand, of substance. Do. This is all stuff others I'll could do relatively easily. We need. I could do with some help. I am also it's very sleepy, day. love. I'm not gonna lie. Other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. I mean, of course I want to pick Jill because it's Jill. But when are we ever going to have the opportunity to go with... Tar Taria? Shielding that guards against even the most ferocious flames. 
They could have done with some of that on Drustinus. I doubt I would have survived that place with or without it. A trip to Northreach, though, I think either of us could handle. So I'm probably going to pick Tarya. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? All right. So, what are we fetching? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. Garlic? Conch shells? Are you sure this is the right list? Sounds more like we're is making dinner, man. For someone's yeah, <laughs> exactly. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Well, isn't that convenient? I was hoping to be able to make a trip over that way sometime soon. Need to speak to an old acquaintance. I'll meet you there. All right. Stay safe. If we're literally just going to the store, what do we need either one of them See for, man? Time. Good luck with your research. And also, if it just uses regular shit like garlic and conch shells, how do we not just have that stuff on hand as well? How does the jukebox actually work? We've never messed with it before. Background music played in the hideaway can be changed. So does it like stay changed to whatever we set it to? Sound of si wait, is it literally just silence the whole time? <laughs> they couldn't just say like off or something. Sure, a rose is a rose, whatever. I don't really care what music plays here. Uh, I don't want to mess with that either. Okay, time to just teleport away. Uh, North Reach, huh? Spend a lot of time around here. Oh shit, are we gonna need money? <laughs> I hope not. We just kind of spent all of our money. Where's Taya? There's talk that the glass. Them nice and chill. Need to stock up on these. Spoiling another there you are, Talia. Ah, and there you are. We shouldn't have any problems finding what we need in a place like this. But if time is of the essence, perhaps we should split up. Take a few items each. All right. What should I look for? Let's see now. Why don't you take the garlic and the pepio nuts? Meet me by the gate when you've got them. But are we sure we're not just making dinner for Hippocrates? Like, is he just trolling us right now? Oi, don't touch anything. God, we do need money. And Good thing we have a bit. <laughs> and this shit seems to be cheap. Wait, what else did you sell? What do you want? Potions and hydrogen. Yeah. How the hell is anyone supposed to? Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. I hope it's to your liking. Keep fighting the good fight. Do it. Hopefully Ty is finished too. Hey boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good puppy. Fresh cuts. Up. You'll not find a bruise. Well, did you find everything? Indeed. Here. Yeah. Garlic and pepio nuts. Job done. We should get this back to Tomes then. He'll be waiting. But we're not in too much of a rush, are we? Quick chat. I was wondering if there was going to be more, man. That <laughs> felt so pointless.
Do you know? I think this is the very first time we've been out on an errand together. <laughs> I think you might be right. In all the years since you and that scowl of yours first appeared, you haven't invited me out once. For shame. Well, it seemed long overdue. And you did say you had some shopping to do. I was hoping to restock my supplies of herbs and liniment, yes. You and Jill alone burned through them like wildfire. Well, <laughs> no luck, though. tough work saving the world, you know. Here, and or I destroying it, depending how you look at it. These gougers charge. I'll ask Kara when we get back. What is it? Oh, just memories. I came here with Sid once. Shopping for supplies, just like today. And just like today, I came away empty-handed. Sid even said he'd speak to Karen for me when we got back. Has it really been five years? I remember it as if it was yesterday. Hold on. Does that mean it's been five years since we met? Feels a lot longer. It does. In a good way, of course. Thank you, Taya. For what? For everything. I just want you to know that all you've done for us, all you still do, it's appreciated. Do you think I'd stick around if I thought it wasn't? But in the spirit of sharing and caring, you're appreciated too, by all of us. Very touching and all, but I mean, it's pretty obvious Jill's the girl for us, dude. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know if they're trying to set up some sort of romantic thing between the two of them, but, like, Jill, dude. Well, I think we've tarried long enough. I ought to get these ingredients back to Tom so he can make up this concoction of his. I'll meet you back at the hideaway, all right? All right. And thanks again. I heard you the first time. So glad we had that absolute waste of time for a mission. Back to the hideaway then. <laughs> I don't know if they had like dedicated quest designers for this game or not, but it certainly doesn't feel like it, man. <laughs> This whole quest that we're doing is so dumb. I wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. Why don't we go ask him? I'm sure he'll be too happy to let us know. Well, Are we supposed to talk to her? Like Are we just not doing that now? It's a relief. Thank you. Cla For many here, every other worldly woe paled in comparison to the threat of Hugo Kuka. Now he's gone, we'll finally have time to devote to every day grapes and grumbles. Cool. Okay, Wash goodbye. Out there. Well, we talked to her. Didn't bring up at all what Tara needed, but yeah, whatever. I'm sure she'll figure it out. Hi, Jill. Welcome home. He had a successful trip. Ah, better late than never. We're ready to begin. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. In a pot? Now that we have all the ingredients, with a little bit of water, begin. some salt. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. So slow, what is going on? Oh, and Clive. It was good to talk. We should do it again sometime. 
It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous which do you apply to which? testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps do we take the shielding and apply it to the moon dew? Made of that. The or the moon dew applied to the shielding? Thank you, Apocrates. These are important questions, Hippocrates. You're not answering. <laughs> Do all this work, the entire ship's gonna go up in flames. Hate to see it. Well, I better go and give Mid the good news then. What do we need a ship for? I mean, I guess, like, if we look at the world map, right? This is mostly cordoned off from the rest of the world. But, like, surely we could just travel through here or make the short hop from here to here somewhere in just, like, a regular dinghy without having a massive ship? So I'm still a little confused on why we're spending all of our time doing what we're doing right now. Can we go through here? We can. He cracked the crystal, too. Wait, can we? No, we can't. Okay, well. <laughs> Obviously, I'm terrible at reading maps. That's what we have Vivian? I think her name's Vivian. That's what we have her for, man. Show us maps and explain to us what the hell's going on. <laughs> All right, Mid, when are we going to see this uh, ship being put together? We've done everything you've asked. We got the shielding. We got the moon dew. We got the, the fallen bits. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the black hammer! Seriously though? Like, you're an engineer, man. The substance sounds extremely useful for other applications. Like... <laughs> How has Moondew uh, been lost to time? Game. I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallabing. <laughs> Do love me a good precision walloping every now and then, you know what I mean? Hmm. Is that it? Okay. Looks a little more impressive up close. It's finished! It's finally finished! Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. 
Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? You got it, my guy. What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Oh, is that the plan? Touched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might mm. still have a chance. That's the plan. Okay. That's fair enough. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want it to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. So she's and making a luxury ship? You you want. And before Titanic, <laughs> Mark always... II? Alright. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans, I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? Yes, yes I was. I was. <laughs> and you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. I was honestly starting to believe they just completely forgot about that part. <laughs> like, we were just never going to visit his grave. They told me she was building a ship. Really? That's a ship? Yeah, why don't you climb on yeah, in, kids? Around the lake. <laughs> yeah. What Amy said, dude. Hop on in there. See what happens. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, Clive. Astrid. Me and finished sending half the hideaway tropes in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She did, yes. Clive, were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. Well, I get it, man. Can't be easy. Oblis, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a bunch. Going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her. Say so we just turned to Ifrit and chased her down. <laughs> Drag her back to here. See you, as it happens. Got a letter for ya. Urgent by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Oberleth. Don't mention it. What tidings, Uncle? My dear boy, my journey to Canva has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strongbox with us, but his considerable knowledge of the goings-on in the free cities by which I've learned the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Though I for one believe Miss Telemon's project to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt the Canavian... Can can Canverian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their dockyards, no matter how deserted. And if rumors have already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are wrapping at our door. 
Which is why I pen you this note. I would like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two, that he might keep a watch on those who might mean our little fellowship ill, and warn us of any impending attack. I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration. Your loveling Uncle Baron. Loveling. <laughs> Close Troubling enough. Come, uh, well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something <laughs> before you suggest it. <laughs> or just oh, drag her there as so Ifrit, man. She can't really fight that against that. The dirty work was kind of fun. <laughs> everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. I kind of feel bad for not taking Otto with us, man, because I don't think we've ever had the chance to do anything with Otto either. Uh. Okay. We're just showing us a side quest, but we can't even go there right now. Damn, this place got destroyed, destroyed, dude. I mean, we saw what Hugo did to the Fang, so, like, it's no surprise, I suppose. But damn. Sid, I remember what you told me, but if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend, Hugo Cooker is gone, his shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Except for himself, apparently. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. As slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Ah, it's goats. And Charon. Now we need Blackthorn, and we really got the party back together. What a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. scenic view back then but it were never as bad as this I know the blind march is on which I don't get shouldn't it be slowing down and soon there will be no escaping sights like these 
So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you, but we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Goods. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to probably the world at this point, to be honest. Traveling trader, assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Bokra. Why couldn't he have been Titan, man? <laughs> he would have been Merlin hilarious skin. Titan. Just show them Goots' traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet you there. See you down in Bucklad. Get off, me poor fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John, God. You're with me. They're a weird Understood. pairing, dude. And Gav. Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. He's so bitter and, like, I all always. business. He's just so jolly, like. You see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. Literally humming along as he walks, man. He's great. He's precious. He's probably gonna die. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm prepared for everyone to die at this point. Damn, everything's locked. But there's a new side quest. So let's check that out real quick. Oh, two new side quests, eh? One at the reading table? And then one in mid's dungeon. <laughs> or close to it. The reading table has a side quest? I'm assuming we got, like, a letter or something. He cracked my crystal, too. Oh. Oh. Three side quests here. Okay. Off the record, I was thumbing through the hideaway ledgers at Otto's behest and might have come across something that might need your attention. Maybe. And by that, I mean immediately. You know where I'll be. Okay. Trouble with the ledgers. Shouldn't he be asking Otto for help? That's why it's a side quest. Bad feeling. Clive, something ain't right with that hound of yours. When it pleases your lordship, come pay me a visit at the toll? What the hell's wrong with our dog? What could be wrong with Torgor? You seen well enough when I last saw him. Why are we suddenly getting so many side quests here? Cheers for your help dragging Blackthorn out of the dumps the other day. Thing is, I reckon he's gone and thrown himself back in, judging by the droop of his jowls lately. So I'm thinking maybe it weren't just the leather what was on his mind. Maybe there's other demons jabbing their pitchforks into his privates. I know you're a busy bloke, but next time you find yourself free, maybe we could go and ask the old bastard what's got him so hot and bothered. Assuming it ain't just the Ford. Forge. Hopefully it's nothing. I might fall asleep, same. But I should speak to Blackthorn <laughs> just in case. Same. <laughs> just 
Take a nice little nappy nap on stream real quick. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Oh, man. Okay. And we still have one more to grab. Uh, I mean, I guess these ones are right here. We might as well talk to them on our way. I got your note. You think something's wrong with Torgal? So you can read. Congratulations. Not well, mind, but... I didn't say I were wrong with him. I said some weren't right. He's not been eating me treats. He used to love cracking the bones from Molly's boiled brown, but now he won't so much as look at him. Didn't like him. Which is why I'm of a mind that his man's on somewhere else. You've not been working him too hard, have you? No harder than usual. Is that it, boy? Do you need a rest? <laughs> oh, <laughs> poor thing. What was it you said he was? A frost wolf? That's what the lawsman seems to think. Then maybe this all has something to do with whatever it is that's woken inside him. Maybe it's just I too damn hot for him around here. Rosalith. We did just pull him through know something. the Instead desert. Of everything, you mean? Perhaps. The Hippocrates it is. You know what might be ailing my dog? You a veterinarian now by any chance? Rosman, I need to ask you about Torgor. Something's not right with him. He isn't ill, is he? I don't think so. But according to Lady Karen, he seems to have lost his appetite. Which is certainly a new development. She says he's hardly been touching his bones of late, and she believes it may have something to do with what happened at Rosalith Castle. Hmm. I rather think she might be right, though not about his appetite. All canids are instinctively inclined to crack open bones for the rich marrow that resides within, and I see no reason why a frost wolf should be any different. Accordingly, I suspect it is not a lack of appetite that afflicts Torgal, but a surfeit of it. If we assume that his newfound magics require additional nourishment to sustain, it may well be that the bones Lady Karen is accustomed to providing are no longer sufficient. Frost wolves, after all, habitually prey upon far larger animals, whose bones may yield altogether different nutrients. As to where one might find a suitable substitute, some antelopes that wouldn't some be better than none though <laughs> like have been known to grow to a size more than when i'm hungry and all i have to eat is something i'm not that interested in i'll still eat it <laughs> the oldest and largest such creatures rarely just saying the of the highlands for fear of predators the last elder antelope sighting i recall hearing about took place near cressida and that was long before the village was abandoned even so it seems like a good place to start. Good hunting, Clive. Okay. So we need to go hunt some outer antelope to extinction. My knowledge that should be fun. Is yours. I have compiled some new entries. If you would like to see them. Update this shit. Can we level up? No. What subject I don't know what leveling up does anyways, but... Same with, like, the relationship... With the, or not relationship with our dog, but Torgal has like his own level thing that we can do too, and I have no idea what it's actually for, what it does, if anything. Blackthorn, do you have a moment? Not really, no. This won't take long. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. August was worried about you, and you might still be doubting your craft. Even after learning the trick of that cuirass. Is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just... well... Karen showed me something. Something I've never seen Maybe before. Maybe you should just stop looking at the that shit was. Karen wants to show you. A sword. Just throwing that out there, man. Every time she shows you something, you seem to get upset. Thrown into depression. Me. The edge on it. You 
could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. So that's what's impressive. troubling you. Uh, no, no, no. They're not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge of that sharp? It's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always welcome. And we can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. Sure as soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. Does he have any apprentices or anything like that? It'd really suck if something were to happen to him at some point, because, like... We'd be fucked. <laughs> You're well, Karen. What you want? Out with it. I want to know about the sword you showed Blackthorn. Single-edged and extremely sharp. Running around after him again, are you? I suppose I am, yes. But I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those cool. that do go straight into private collections. Which made it nice. I don't know if there's something in the air or what, but Noodle's right, man. <laughs> Very tired all of a sudden. I tell people who my clients are. Suppose you're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you now? Fine. If you stop mooning at me like that. Lord Ignac's the man you want. Delmechian Ignac, bloke. Huh? Collects weapons and the like. And he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favorite clients. Reckon he'll still be at the inn in Dalamil, where I left him. Thank you, Karen. Oh, and he's a touch eccentric. If you take me meaning. I appreciate the warning. Who isn't a bit odd in this world, though? I need to speak with Goat. Got? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Oh, that's right. He's at the, uh, he's the quest dude. Dude that gives us random quests, I believe. So that's fine enough. We'll swing around after stopping in mid's dungeon. Who are we going to talk to down here? Is she going to be back already, or? No, that's, is that Helena? No, some dude. Owen? Owen? Here. Sid. Reckon you might be just the man to help me out of a bit of bother, if you were mind to. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit, it is. Bung in a solution you want split in, and it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. Dashing on this lovely rainy smoky day. Yeah, I was surprised. I didn't know the wildfires were still even going on. But I got a uh, alert about the uh, air quality today. And I was like, oh, damn. You could help me out. Guess a nap sounds really good to be honest, man. Like, oh, man. I don't know where it came from. Like, I slept okay last night. I slept a decent amount last night. I didn't do too exactly much today, just some basic filter. errands and mowed I'll my lawn real quick. Do, says the chief. But I am tired as balls, dude. From the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get older some. And do you know what I found out? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. I, I, I saw a billet on the hunt board for one just the other day. Would have gone myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. You, on the other hand. Didn't we right. kill a bomb? I'll see what I can do. On the hunt board, Frankie or... And, and a good hunting, eh? I'm probably just thinking of the one... For for that side quest in Dalmechia. 
that means there's more hunts to do now as well, though. Mid's not even here. Calm down, old man. Can we, like, unprioritize that one? No. Lame. Uh, well... Okay. Just so I don't forget to talk to the dude. Hello, Nectar. Ask about bomb sightings. Are you on the hunt for a bomb, King Koopo? If so, I have a billet that might interest you. The Croc and Sam Breck. Okay. We can do that. Thanks, Nectar. Um, and if this is anything like the last one, that mission... Or that quest is never going to update, so... Uh, speak with God, no. Is it this one? No, this one. It's the Croc Chief. and Sam Breck, okay. Did you get my letter? That's why I'm here. Sam Breck, Croc. Otto won't be listening. <sighs> is this better? A little. Listen, I've some bad news. It turns out the hideaway may be slightly behind in its payment. Right, didn't our members. uncle just give us a shit bad ton of money? Maybe my fault. But I swear to the goddess, I thought I had the numbers square. Sadly, that square turned out to be more of a circle. Zero. So the real say. problem here is you're just an idiot. Now, That's I what I'm swear, hearing. <laughs> it's going to take some time, and I'm going to need help keeping it from Otto. Be late for that, I'd say. There you dun, are. Dun, dun. What a surprise. So let me get this straight. You forget to pay our lenders what they're due, and instead of coming straight to me, you get Clive to come to you. And I hope you'll dig you out of the hole you've dug for yourself. Clive, the man in charge of the place you've been cheerfully trying to bankrupt. <laughs> and you thought this was a cunning... Yeah, he's not the brightest of dudes, is he? Well, who needs paying? Oh, just Martha. And the dame. Jesus and Christ. Lady Karen. <laughs> but only... He hasn't been paying off any of our lenders, has he? <laughs> we owe three of our most trusted friends five million gil each. Five million. <laughs> oh my God, dude. <laughs> what the hell has this guy even They're been doing? The money we used to rebuild the hideaway, you see, and well, uh, I must have made some sort of. I'd say oversight, oversight seems a little uh kind. Let's Those say. This is my responsibility. It was my decision to entrust them to you. This is my fault. Do we have that much to hand? I can always ask my uncle. No, we don't. And no, you won't. We've lightened Lord Rossfield's purse enough. After the King's ransom we had off him, he deserves better than to see our begging bowl. Besides, sure he has, he's an idiot. That's his good reason. <laughs> he admitted to it. He made a mistake. Rice. He fucked up. But that doesn't mean you have to shoulder the burden yourself. Is there anything I can do to help? There might be. How do you fancy taking these to Martha and the dame? Rocks. Rocks, he says. Worth a thousand talents apiece, these are. A little something Sid and I set aside for when times got lean. And I reckon 15 million in overdue debt probably qualifies. I just hope our associates' eyes are a bit more discerning than yours. I'm sure they will be. Mm. Should be me making the rounds, really. But you know how it is with this place. Orders to bark, asses to wipe, and all that. I know. Which Which the, I like you were just place. telling him. Leader of right. the damn place. Do you know why Surely we have right people. Two star rubies. Because... That like you'd rather Lady Karen 
you could do this for us <laughs> instead of me going around doing it? Shouldn't I be planning the attack on the next crystal and how not to get this entire place killed themselves? Well, I don't. I <laughs> this is goodbye, so fucking then. dumb, dude. Don't worry. I'm sure Karen will understand. Really? Do you think so? No. Uh, <laughs> Alright. So where are we going? Okay, the board. The crook and Sam Breck? I think it was. Double check. Before I leave. So I'm going to do that one first so I don't forget it. Yes, the croc, not crook. Croc and Sam Breck. Uh, so where's Sam Breck? Oh, everything's still closed to us. So <laughs> I guess we won't be doing shit right now. It's weird that the side quests were even open to us when we can't do them. Good movie. Uh, okay, everything's open to us now. So, San Breck. Was that around here somewhere? North Reach. Dragon's Airy. Um, so, we're looking for the croc. It's downs. Da, 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 da. Lost Dragon's Airy. Markets, North Reach. No. Baywatch, Richard's Bales. More. Unnamed Chapel. Not there. This side? Is this Sambrek? Rose Gate Croc. I wish there was a search, man. Amber Shallop Rock. Crooked Nash's Pier. That's kind of croc like, right? Crooked Croc, close enough. Croc and Sam Breck. Where the hell is Sam Breck? This isn't Sam Breck down here, is it? The sickle, the jaw. Road path. Belcroy Desert. Well, that place is open now, huh? Where the hell's the croc? Hmm, okay, hold on. This is where search helps. FFXVI San Breck map. Uh, notorious marks? No, because I don't want spoilers. That'll give us spoilers. Phallisthea. The Holy Empire of Sambrek. Okay, yeah. So this... It is the one I thought it was. Here. This is Sambrek. So where the hell's the croc? Gregor's Weep. Clear view, the old road, lost wing, seller's passage, 
Garrett Norvent, bruh. The Holy Eye. There's too many things. This place is big. Morn Broom. Heaven Hall. Imperial Ch Ah! Croc! Okay, cool. So that's where we're going. Uh, is that the closest thingy? This is the closest thingy. Although... I mean, we might as well turn in the thing first. The payback thing first, right? And then just run over. Uh, ooh, we're actually going inside, are we? Wait, who are we giving money to? Isabel. Uh, the, uh... Oh... The whorehouse owner. <laughs> What's the nice name for that? <laughs> I can't... The brothel. The owner of the brothel. That's what it is. What am I gonna do without sweet water? My lady, I come bearing gifts. Gifts? Whatever is the occasion. Seems our resident dumbass fucked up in paying you, so... Oh my. Clive, you really have outdone yourself. Otto asked me to give it to you. To settle the hideaway's debt with the veil. And to... compensate you for the time it took us to do so. <sighs> You disappoint me, Clive. I thought you might finally be warming <laughs> to me. Tell I, mean, I don't dislike you, baubles. but... I tried to tell him as much the first time around. The man owes me nothing, nor does the hideaway. My contribution to the restoration effort was made freely and willingly. It was the least I could do. You once told me Sid did you a kindness. I'd like to do the same. Please, accept it. For my sake. And for Otto's. For all of us. For all you've done. <sighs> it is rather fetching, isn't it? Very well. <laughs> Otto is lucky to have you, Clive. I doubt anything could ever replace his. Son. That ruby was worth five but million the gil and then the some. Away. The Holy shit, dude! That's <laughs> that's an expensive ruby. Otto had a son. Long ago, yes. Sid told me Otto lost him when he was just a boy, and blamed himself for not being able to stop it. I don't know how it happened, whether there was anything he could have done. But it was clear that it weighed heavily on him. I didn't know. How could you have? I doubt anyone did. I don't suppose he likes Besides to talk about it much. Sid, I've never met a man more keen to bear his sorrows in stoic silence. An ill habit, given that both have always been surrounded by friends desperate to help them. <laughs> I'm beginning to see that. <laughs> Seems like a weird point to just turn around and leave. Alright, so we're heading here then. Not too far away. I can't imagine fast traveling to the other point would really make it any quicker, so we'll just run. Maybe we'll ride our chocobo! Probably not. It is faster, but... Uh... Ambrosio won't help me here. The chocobo also kind of sucks to control. Can't Ambrosia just eat, like, these normal antelope? There's plenty of them around, man. Surely if he just eats enough of them, he'll get the same nutrition as he would from a elder antelope, right? Or does being older somehow make them more nutritious? Also, I am way off course. There's a bridge right there. I was thinking we'd have to go down farther to get across.
I keep seeing Twitch chat like reconnecting, man, and I'm worries me that Twitch is dying again, but I think it's just chat that's having problems today, thankfully. Uh, so down and then up. Have yourself a snack, Torgle. Starving won't do you any good, my guy. Won't do any of us any good. I mean, we could kill that thing if you'd rather. The dragon Avis? I don't even know how it's pronounced, but... Am I good for D&D tonight? Yeah, I'll be fine. I shall be on. As long as I don't, like, fall asleep and never wake up. <laughs> Not planning on doing. <laughs> Probably 12.30 just to keep it consistent. I could technically do 12 tonight, but... Might as well keep it consistent with all the other nights. Or most of the other nights, at least. Okay. Apparently that wasn't good enough for him either. Why are you guys yelling at each other? Stop being so angry. GG to them, I guess. Down this path. The Imperial Chase, huh? Wonder how it got its name. Maybe, like, Imperials come here to, to hunt, you know, to, like, chase boar or antelope or something. A yearly hunt for sport. Hoping to go back to 11.30 at some point. It would be nice, but, uh, until... I don't know when or when that's going to happen, to be honest with you. <laughs> Because Noodle, of course, works till 12. Or, I'm sorry, until 11. So most nights I don't even get home till 11.30. Bomb King. And with the new job that she's looking at, if she gets a new job, um, it would be the same, same thing. Like, <laughs> 11 o'clock, so. Oh, GG on me, man. Good miss, good miss. Oh, you don't have a stagger gauge. Interesting. Okay. That's what I was saying. I was just saying the the of uh, 11:30 would be nice, but Noodle works until 11, so most days I don't even get home till 11:30. And if she gets a new job, it would be the same most likely. The only other job she's ever even considered also is you know 12:30. So. Ooh, it's one of the purple bros. Not necessarily or anything. It's just like... If she did decide to change jobs, it'd probably be, you know, where I work at currently. And the position she would work is there till 11. It's not like anything's been decided or anything, but... It's just like the only other possibility for her right now. I'm like, yeah. I mean, it's technically temp, but we have no idea like how long it'll last, right? Yeah, this Bomb King puts out a ton of damage, dude. Bro, I can't even see what's going on. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> After Labor Day normally? 
When's Labor Day? I, I don't follow holidays. <laughs> First Monday of September, okay. September 4th this year. I should have backed up a little bit. Could have got more hits in with that probably. Oh well. Again, I have no idea what's going on. I'm just going to stand here and uh, keep beating on this dude and hope for the best because <laughs> there's too many explosions and things for me to even try to figure out what the hell is going on. Oh, you bastard. Oh. Oh. I'm so fucking glad I'm so <laughs> today today that good of a day. <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> also, welcome. Hello. Hi. Trying to stay awake. I want to play with your new nail stuff, but I'm so sleepy. Have you started messing with your nail stuff yet or Your reign is over. Now to collect the ash. I should probably have brought a bucket. <laughs> yeah, you think? A bucket would have helped. This no, you haven't. Stuff. We'll start messing with it. Maybe, uh, you know, having something to occupy you will help keep you awake for a little bit. Oh, uh, Prime it. Day, they had, she'll be able to explain it better, but this. had this, like, gel nail stuff. Help. You like form it to your nails and cure it on there using something. I don't know. Like I said, she can explain it better, I'm sure. Poly gel. There you go. Close enough. Do I need a sneeze? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's empty. Well, it's not empty, but close to it. Sounds interesting. I mean, it's nail stuff, you know? It's, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. She asked if she could do my nails, but, like, no. <laughs> I, I've never had my nails done and don't really see the point in it. They're just going to get destroyed instantly at work, man. Or they'll just annoy me and I would cut them off. Because <laughs> I can't. I don't like my nails being long at all. Like, I probably have another two, three days before I cut my nails. And they're not, you probably, I don't doubt you can actually see them on camera, but they're not, like, long at all right now. Just don't like long nails. Never have. Uh, da -da -da -da. Martha, how did we get to you? There we go. Hello, Martha. Would you like Life. a ruby? We weren't expecting you. I wasn't expecting to be here. But it seems we still owe you a considerable amount of coin for your help with our rebuilding efforts. And though I doubt it's what you were expecting, we were hoping you'd take this as payment. What's the actual description for it? One of three brilliant gemstones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so nothing interesting. I was hoping maybe it would say something neat about, like, the gemstones themselves, why they're so valuable, star, but... star, Ruby. I can't accept this. It's worth at least twice what you owe me. More if you can find yourself the right buyer. Think of the difference as interest. Interest? If word got out I charged that much, no one would ever borrow from me again. Then don't anyway, tell anyone. why are you the one here asking me about this? I'd have expected Otto. Bit much sending He's busy, the apparently. Marquis out to sell your debts, isn't it? The old goat working himself to death again. Something like that. Most days I think he's the only reason the hideaway's still standing. Same as always, eh? Back when the place was nothing but a twinkle in the eye of a recently retired Lord Commander, 
Word is, he was the first one Sid reached out to. Probably knew that without his strong arm and level head, the idea would never get off the ground. Sid may have been the face of the hideaway, but Otto's always been the backbone. And when Sid passed away, we were all worried that would be the end of it. That Otto would just give up. His death was hard on everyone. Good thing you got me then, eh? But it must have hit Otto hardest of all. But he didn't give you might up, have did yours he? Quite the opposite, filed down professionally and all if that? I, recall, he was the one I don't... Who nominated I mean, you like, I wouldn't mind it. And but I don't see the point you. either. I <laughs> like, I can cut my nails just fine at home. Too. And don't we all? Oh. <laughs> doesn't hurt that you're half as stubborn and twice as handsome, neither. Aww. And you keep good company. <laughs> Twice as handsome, you really I think? I do. Thanks, Martha. You're so sweet. Go will want to know the stones were delivered. If he... And then Really? There's no closer teleport? Okay, then we're leaving here, going right, down and around. That's what, the elevator? Might be the elevator. Yeah. No. There we go. Around this way. Let the Empire have dragoons. I'm so lost. Okay, keep going around. <laughs> so, really, we could have just came out of there and went left, huh? Wait, what? No. Oh, I was thinking we came out like that way i'm so confused whatever doesn't matter we're on the right path now boo hey what's up dude welcome my guy how is rue today hope things are going well for you man did you ever end up doing that assignment from last night or did you well and truly decide to just say screw it <laughs> got off work and finally chilling Chilling in caps. You got that AC going. Getting cooled off. I don't know how hot it is where you're at, but oof, it's been warm around here lately. Well, I do know it's been warm where you are too. We were talking about that a little bit, but today it's cooled off a bit where I'm at, but it's still too warm for me personally. Like, you did the Spanish one. ASL, you got an A still. <laughs> oh, the last two games you got A's? That's awesome, dude. How does like uh how do exams for ASL work? Are they like in person things? Like cuz I remember when we took French, like obviously we did have some written exams, but a lot of our exams in French class were just a uh, one-on-one -on -one sitting with the teacher and having like short conversations in French and shit like that. Record a video showing that I know what the signs and what they mean and shit. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So that essentially what I thought just, you know, Online. You started at 7? Jesus, man. Good 12-hour shift. That overtime should be nice, though, right? Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's rude. <laughs> yeah, that's all the reason I ever need to not be a salary if I can help it, man. The pay would need to be really freaking good for me to... Uh, willingly take a non or a salary position you've been slowly smoking in your car all day <laughs> uh. We're having barbecue for dinner tonight, man. I'm excited for it. I bought some, uh, I forget what it's called, like pork butt ribs or something like that. They're not like actual ribs, but they're cut in kind of like the shape of a rib, but made from pork butt or something like that. So gonna fry them off real quick just to get a sear on them. And then uh, throw them in the oven baste them with some barbecue sauce or I might just do the whole thing on the pan I don't know it depends on how lazy I'm feeling and how much time I have after the stream and what not to cook before game night 
Where'd this animal come from? Oh, you're screwed. Yeah, all jokes aside, Chocobo, that does really suck, man. I'm excited for you to not have to deal with it anymore after a while. Dinner is here. What are you having for dinner, room? Also, my headphones are dying. I need to plug them in. Okay. Before I forget, let's do that right now. Or actually, you know what? Uh, Noodle, if you're not busy... Well, no, never mind. I'll come get it. I just, uh, I have some Reese's Fast Breaks, and I'm starting to get a little bit hungry, so I'm going to go grab my Reese's Fast Breaks real quick. Kielbasa, potatoes, and green beans. Okay, especially if we're all going to be talking about food, because that's just going to make me more hungry. I'm not a huge fan of kielbasa. I do eat it, and, uh, like, you know, but I never, like, buy it and make it for myself. But potatoes and green beans, though? Oh, oh, buddy. Two of my favorite things. Especially, like, you know, slow-cooked green beans with potatoes onion garlic ham stuff like that oh bruh that is one of my all-time favorite foods man like love that shit <laughs> it's so good but anyway okay 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 yeah food i'm gonna go have my little fast break snack and we'll be back in like two minutes man just gotta run downstairs grab them my mouth's watering all right i'm getting hungry here <laughs> brb Action role-playing game for the Wii developed by Namco Bandai. Hey, can you throw that back? How fancy. Got my ball stuck. <laughs> if it wasn't $200, I might uh, check it out myself. But wait, what? Where'd you get your ball stuck at? I'm trying... To I'm trying to throw the I'm trying to throw the ball up there to that guy, <laughs> and oh my god, it's not it, it doesn't make it. Oh god. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you guys see that? David's playing on <laughs> VR, so he's gonna look really. There's a wire above me. I gotta but... be careful. <laughs> you know, like on my screen, <laughs> you are like glitching. Out. You're like, up. have you ever watched uh, the Flash <laughs> television series? Yeah. You are vibrating back and forth like the Flash sometimes, dude. Like. Like he does, so you can't see his face and shit like that. Like, right now it looks like you're beating the floor repeatedly. I don't know what's going oh, on. Oh, because I was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys see this? Look at him. He's just like glitching back and <laughs> Dude, forth. Dude, my dick man. can't throw for shit. <laughs> no, he doesn't, he doesn't look bad. Doris on, Lady, on what's my up, stream? my guy? Like, thank you for joining the stream and thank you for the resub, dude. I appreciate that. If you would like to vote on a PS2 well, game for us to complete or uh, for us to buy, you are more than welcome to. You get five free votes for your for your sub. There is a list of them available on the link tree. Someone can do exclamation mark link in chat to get that up for you. If you want to. If you don't want to, that's perfectly fun too. Keep your balls to yourself, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm trying> for... <laughs> <laughs> to give someone your balls or to keep them to yourself do we need to have yes. a conversation are you is everything okay at home yes <laughs> you are so fucking glitched dude <laughs> like it's just fine. vibrating like crazy it's so weird this is Anyways. what happened to the last vr player <laughs> old jeffrey stop patting his head that's weird <laughs> <laughs> Just because he's right, bald well, like you are. Nah, Jesus fuck. Can we kick this guy off the stream? We don't need him here. Right. Anyways. Um, uh... <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead. I have no idea how long it's going to be till OptiJack gets here. So everyone pick a location and ready up. Oh. Okay. Um, I picked a location. I don't like where this is going. But, uh... Fuck Make it. sure if you need Maybe. to buy anything, you buy your shit, too. Uh, do, 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 do. I only had $50. That's all I got from my last round, so... <laughs> I have basically no I money, bought. too, dude. The Participation yeah, Award. Like... <laughs> um, what did I buy that I wanted to contribute to the... Oh, I bought a thermometer. Because I didn't have one of my own. <laughs> it's not that kind of thermometer, is it? No. It's a special spooky thermometer. <laughs> oh. Okay. Stream, how did I get unready? I don't understand. I read it up. Mm -hmm. Stream, oh, you're unready uh, too. Yeah, every time somebody, like, does a vote, they have to re-ready up. Mm. See, to the best of my knowledge, 
I've always just been the one that will eat whatever the hell is put in front of me. Like, <laughs> if you give me veggies, I'll eat it. You give me fruit, I'll eat it. You give me meat, I'll eat it, dude. You stick it in front of my face and it's edible, it's going down. I, I just like food. There's very little. The only thing that I remember, like, actually just, like, refusing to eat have been pickled eggs. And I did try them. But I just didn't like them. Hey, say what you will about cooked oatmeal specifically, because I love uh, non-cooked oatmeal. But I do try to eat it, right? I do try to eat oatmeal. It just makes me throw up. <laughs> like, like, I don't like it. Yeah, pickled eggs. Um, it's where you take, like, beets and eggs and put them in a brine the brine turns like this reddish purplish color from the beets and uh yeah it's not good i don't like them but my step grandparents were big fans of them so they usually had them and like i tried them like i said but i just no i'm good didn't care for them um but like and there are other things that i don't really care for like noodle mentioned cooked oatmeal flavor wise is fine as long as it's like seasoned and got some cinnamon or something in it um, but texture, that's like the one texture food that I just cannot do at all. It makes me gag real bad. And then uh, uh, baked beans, at least from a can. I've never had like homemade baked beans. Do not like baked beans like at all. Not a huge fan of coleslaw, but I can eat it. Like there's there's a lot of things I'm not a huge fan of, but I will eat at the same time. Like pickled eggs sound horrible. Have you ever seen like pickled pig's feet? Because that's worse looking in my opinion i don't think i've ever actually tried them not to my knowledge at least but uh yeah what did you do to get a timeout what it doesn't say you were timed out anywhere twitch chat is currently fucking up so it may just be that um Damn it, stream, pay attention to what? Pickled eggs sound horrible. You can't do baked beans anymore either. Yeah, and they look terrible too. Nothing new to I swear I would never. Hey, listen, I've, I've seen all this. I'm not, What am I missing? <laughs> I didn't time you out. I was saying that already. Above that? Fucking mood, that's me. With like two exceptions. Oh. Was it because I didn't ask what the two exceptions were? I saw that message. I just forgot to ask. Is that... <laughs> what are your two exceptions? <laughs> My apologies. I didn't mean to. I just... I get distracted easily. Below that? God damn it. He doesn't do that with oatmeal. Talked about that. Pickled what now? Eggs. Apparently as I was trying to exit that... Oh... Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I looked over that message probably like 10 times, dude. <laughs> but it's weird. Like, I, I didn't get a, uh update. It doesn't say that you, like, in the... Because, like, I have a list of all of the actions the mods take. It didn't pop up. That, uh, the timeout didn't pop up. But again, Twitch chat is fucking up right now, so it's probably just because of that or whatever. And this is why we have that command. Well, yeah, but... How helpful was it really? You had to like guide me toward it, man. You might as well just spam it. You know what I mean? Don't actually spam, but yeah. It said I can't time her out anyway because she's... Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Ah. All right. I had my low boost of sugar. Moved around a little bit. Let's try not to fall asleep playing some more of the game. Although I'm very hungry now, man. Uh, hopefully the barbecue doesn't take too long after stream. Okay, let's try and make some more progress though first. Um, so there's something else to do here. And Martha's rest. Oh yeah, the the antelope. Of course, that's what we were literally doing right before we left. Level thirty three yeah, we'll antelope. Huh? That. A lot of them too. Total. Holy shit, dude! I thought these things were like going extinct or something. I didn't. Because the way he was talking, he was like, the last of the Elder Antelope 
appear to be in this region or whatever. Like, <laughs> I didn't expect there to be a whole pack of them. You can't, I have no idea. I can't see shit. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> just punching the air, <laughs> getting myself super pumped. Get wrecked. Antelope. Surely bows exist, right? Couldn't we have hunted these things in like a more reasonable manner? Than using like swords and the power of the gods to take them down? Will it be enough, I wonder? I say that answers my question. Which means we owe the lawsmen our thanks. Yay, Torgal's alive! He's not gonna die of starvation because he's suddenly a picky eater. A very big puppy. Do know you can take that with you, Togo. Lady Karen will be relieved to hear you've got your appetite back. Come on, boy. <laughs> oh, die for Torgo. He is very cute. He's a good boy. Okay, so that's everything in this area. So... Okay, we still have... The Dolomil Inn. Did see a spoiler and it's fucking awesome. Don't tell me what it is, unless, is it the fact that, like, Torgal can transform? I don't remember if you were here whenever we saw that happen or not, but... People take notice of wealthy men. Ding? Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to track down yeah, he turns into a badass, man. It's pretty sick. The Saint Drake's fang is gone. It was awesome. Wholly unexpected, but really, really cool. reputation will be ruined ruined calm yourself lord ignac i beg of you before you do yourself a mischief just who we were looking Pardon for the intrusion but out get out i paid for these rooms so i wouldn't be disturbed leave me be somebody's angry at the Allow moment allow me to apologize his lordship is going through a difficult time and he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oaf this instant! Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? It's fine. Thankfully, we uh, have a pretty chill temperament. Slow to anger. I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat fractious. He has been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. Mm. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. Redeem I suppose his a certain blade was among the stolen items. It's Very kind, man. Sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah... You know Lady Karen? Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You are but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. Don't we just need to see the blade? Went. Like, I did not. No. Couldn't we just go Although steal the blade, take it to Blackthorn, made on and then bring Lord everything behalf, back to him in one go? Mean that I know where you might find them. The Seems reasonable bed. enough to me. I don't know. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamal is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. And that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence. And arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. 
That will be very kind of you. Also, why are you not, oh, well. like, traveling with a of luck. troop of armed guards? Even if you didn't have to worry about thieves, there are still absurdly large and powerful beasts around every corner in this world. Like, going anywhere without a veritable army in your presence seems insanely stupid. <laughs> like, every time I see, like, traders just walking around, like, on their own, nothing but a chocobo, a cart, and the shit on their back, like, what the hell are you doing, man? You're asking to be murdered. Speaking of chocobos, hi, pretty girl. All right, let's go. Ride you for three seconds before we get off. I'm hoping soon I have money to start buying PlayStation games again, dude. PS2 games. We're going to start needing them soon. I've just been a broke boy recently. That's actually why we're having the, the pork. Because it's just a very cheap protein source. And we are basically out of protein. <laughs> Otherwise, we have like some burgers in the freezers. Like, other than that, though. So those pork butt ribs or whatever the hell they're called. Cheap and, in my opinion, tasty protein. $2 tip for lunch delivery at nursing home. Like, really? Hey, man, at the end of the day, just be happy it's not a $0 tip. You know what I mean? Was it a waste of your time? Probably. Was it worth it? Probably not. But it could certainly be worse. I honestly think tip-based, like, wages should be outlawed. Like, I obviously, I think if somebody wants to give you a tip for something, you should be allowed to accept it. But I don't think it should ever be... Your pay should ever be based off of the assumption that the customer on the other end is going to give you extra money. Like... And I hope I never get stuck in a position where I have to work for tips. <laughs> like... I would hate to do that. That's the two things I never want to do in my life, man. Like, actual sales and work for tips. Both of those sound terrible to me. I'm assuming this group here is probably who we're looking for. Bed maker, huh? The bathe maker, like, Come on, lads, down on his luck or something. Off. Is there another dude around here? No, everyone else is dead. Okay. Ow. I that. Wait, did he break through our guard, or did I just guard too late? I'm not sure. I really wish more enemies got staggered. Damn, I didn't con I didn't realize how low my controller battery was as well. All my batteries are dying at the same time. see shit, so I'm just going to keep hitting the square button and hoping for the best. I'm sure we can tank whatever he's going to throw at us. Like, it'll be fine. That was a quick stagger, considering we didn't even use any ability for anything.
GG enemy. Two thousand and thirty ability points. How many did we need to this master the thunderbolt thing? Nothing seems to be damaged. All right, let's get it back to Delamel. Honestly, the more I use the tornado, the more I'm kind of tempted to keep it. But I'm not a huge fan of. I hear I have you to thank for the return What we have on Square for Titan. What I think I might I switch you, that one out. Wyvern. Glad to make your acquaintance. Although when we can parry somebody indeed. with that ability, it's pretty cool well, then. Wyvern, hmm. I appear to be in your debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right. Speak. A master wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that <laughs> Bro. It was made I just realized Radim doesn't have a, uh... Beyond the twins. The, the mark, are the bear? Exclusively the brand, that's what it's called. Of a unique school of swordsmanship. Makes me like Ignac a little bit better. No combat should ever exceed he just has like a proper assistant, presumably paid for. Such like paid to do work, not him and himself paid for. Made for that one perfect stroke, and for that stroke only, they crack upon a second blow. Ugh. There's a brutal sort of beauty to it, really. But how do they hone such an edge? <laughs> Fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Whetstones, rather. A whole array of them, ranging from the coarse to the fine. <laughs> 10,000 licks with the sharpening stone. <laughs> Have anything good for your... More. Your, uh... Would it even be lunch at this point? After 12 hours? And very slow. We're at a very slow point of the game. The fight with Titan was fun, but ever since then, it's been a very... Is the key. The boring. <laughs> <laughs> to be to be completely honest, Wyvern, nothing real Michael interesting Lecture has happened since. Equal to services rendered. Take this, together with my regards. The very stone of which I spoke, far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself, and a far more fitting payment. Thank you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. <gasps> so it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unscrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. Such a tough life. Such there. a tough life you live, Mr. Ignac. Too many to count. But only one do I consider my nemesis. I figured. Lord I saw it coming. Byron Rosfield. And is a perennial thorn in my side. Who, <laughs> Ignac? I think Ignac's alright. Oh, well, I honestly, I doubt we'll ever even see him again after Ready? this, but... We mustn't dawdle. Not in any important way. And again... His manservant isn't is a bearer, right which I appreciate. Like, thank you again for your just assistance. a normal like. Here's payment. I mean, Will you do this thing you. for me? Type of deal. I'll be right there. I'm assuming, unless there's slave trade outside of people that have the mark, but I don't think so. Trust Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. Now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? Okay, I think that's everything, outside of the main quest, of course. Yeah. Get cart. Well, whatever, we'll be doing that on the way through, so let's turn in all of this crap.
We did the hunt, collect the ash, we made our payments for everyone, we fed Torgul. The other one was for Karen, that's the cart one. So Lady Karen accepted the ruby. So we should be good. Oh, about that, uh, I tried my best, but she was just too stubborn to take it. She threw it right back in my face, in fact, and told me I could stick my stupid stone where the sun don't shine. <laughs> that should make a real Karen cute butt plug. I hope it wasn't something I said. I'm sure you were as tactful as ever. Let me see what I can do. Oh, wonderful. I hope you have better luck than I did. Side quest never ends, my guy. Alright, on to Karen then. We have two quests for her, actually. I don't know where Sid gets Wait, was the cart for Karen? No, it was for... I don't remember. <laughs> At this point, man, I don't remember Lady what Karen. quests were what. Go tells me you weren't happy with our offer. But you prefer the debt was repaid in coin. What debt? I don't recall lending any of you lot me hard earned gill. I may have tossed a talent or two in the Hardaway's coffers, but those were donations. And you can hardly call it charity if you go asking for it back. Of course not. I had no idea but she was that rich, to be honest. Like. Another. Our circumstances have changed. A traitor, of course, Surely but wouldn't shun the gratitude of a pauper. One that can just give away five million prince. gil, like Oh. So you're a prince now, are you? Fine. But I'm selling it and taking what I'm owed, then you're getting the rest whether you like it or not. Seems fair to me. Where'd you even get this? A decent trader might nab a thousand talents for a star ruby. A canny one, meanwhile, might claim it were nicked from the belt of Sid the Outlaw himself and ask twice as much. Might be I already have a buyer in mind. Might be you even know her. The fine continental maid whose beauty is only eclipsed by a guile in commerce. You won't mind, would you? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Just Lady sure Karini, Karini. Always a pleasure doing business. <laughs> oh. Who is she talking about? That she's gonna sell it to? I hear you ended up delivering all three stunts. I have no idea who that was. Thanks to this lump, I sometimes wonder what I pay you for. Speaking of which, I uh. <laughs> uh, I still haven't been paid. I don't think now's the right time to ask for your for oh. your paycheck, my guy. So you remember what's owed to you then? Get your ass beyond that disc of yours and don't get up before those ledges are square. Right away. <laughs> I've seen that before. You yeah, have, yeah. Plenty of times. It was the only goblet Sid ever used. Either out of habit. All because the filthy soul couldn't be bothered to find a clean one. I knew so little about him. Like most people. Martha and the dame both seem to have fond memories of him. <laughs> I bet they do. How long did you know Sid before he... Before he died. Twenty summers, give or take. Back in the day. I was a purser on a trade ship, which is where I met him. He brought passage to... I oh, forget where. But having nothing better to do on the long nights, we set up drinking island rum till the morning bell dragged me back to my duties. Quit my post not long after that. On account of making a fine maiden's belly fat. Mm, he's gonna tell us about his son, huh? Close, promising we'd one day sail the seas again. That was before fate stepped in and said she was having none of it. The magic woke inside my son soon after his first known day, and there was no hiding his neck. Couldn't you and your family have? My family were the ones who summoned the constable, wanted the monster. 
It's despicable, dude. That's so fucked. I couldn't turn my back on him. Forget what I felt. And I couldn't for the life of me understand how they could. Luckily, Sid was of the same mind as me. It was him who stood beside me when all I wanted was to tear the whole world down. Him who cried for me. Yes, Sid's uh, daughter. When I had no tears left of my own. Him who swore he'd do everything he could to stop it from happening again. And he was true to his word, too. Left the Royal Army once and for all. His ranks, his ribbons, gone. Just like that. Threw away everything he had. All to right a wrong that no one else had the courage to face. I knew then. I'd follow that man to the ends of the earth. Touching story. Uh, on to the next one. <laughs> or not. Ah, flashback, eh? Didn't expect that. The side quest seems to have more substance than the last uh, main mission that we did, though. <laughs> Saw the world for what it really was, while the rest of us were content to go along with the lie we were shown. And it can't have been easy bearing that burden alone. Stop him. He never lost faith in what he believed was right. And that gave us faith in him. Faith he'd steer us true. So I swore on myself that I'd always be right behind him, ready to catch the stubborn sod if ever he should fall. Really sucks he had to die like that. <laughs> oh, I couldn't even do that. <laughs> Ignore me. Just the ramblings of a tired old man. Leave that lot. I'll tidy it up in a bit. This is Sid's handwriting. Dear Otto. I may be drunk, but I wanted you to know this place would be fucked without you. Love you, you old grumpy old sod. <laughs> this note. Hmm? What about it? Sid was right. Without you, we all be lost. We should have bloody well said so then. Just once. Before he went. But then, why would he, him, or anyone? I'd only have told him to piss off. Probably why he wrote you a note instead of saying it to your face. <laughs> You're wrong, though. Both of you. It was never just me keeping the hideaway afloat. It was all of us. I just shove people in the right direction. I barely seem to be able to do that anymore. God. <laughs> Is she teaching him how to count? <laughs> well, maybe I've got a few uh. more years left in me. I'm going to hold you to that, Otto. Before you go, 
Sid would have wanted you to have this. But that... This will do me just fine. Thanks for the ray of sunshine. I'll see if I can't pay you back. Already have. I mean, for sentimental reasons, it's a nice cup and all. But I don't think I'd ever want to drink out of the thing. It kind of looks terrible, dude. It's not, it's not in great condition. Okay. Oh, God. Are there more missions to do? Clive. I thought we had done everything. Here you go. Oh, get cart. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean... Uh, no, don't Think travel to it. We already know that one. No. Bless me again. Holy hell. Got any renown for me? Welcome to the or renown presence? Your benefactors are a generous lot. 7.15, okay. I may have more for ya. So, Charon. And Blackthorn. Not you. Don't care about Vivian. They told me she was building a ship. I don't know where Sid gets the energy. Cocaine. That's where we get the energy. Large quantities of cocaine. Off somewhere. Took him for a walk, did you? <laughs> you could say that. I do regret not taking Otto with us on that mission whenever we had the chance now, after getting to know him a little bit more. It's like we get to hang out with Gav all the time, but so, don't really see Otto much. Good enough, eh? That'll teach me for treating you like you're still a pup. All right, all right, no need to shout. Now I know what you're after, I can see about getting some in. Speaking of which, I brought one for later. Can I leave it with you? Or to slaying a behemoth, or a coral, or bison, a minotaur, or an adamantois, one would be hard pressed to find a larger leg bone. If this does not satisfy Torgal's ancestral hunger, hunger, chances are nothing will. I mean, we find them all the time, though. Like minotaurs and shit. Couldn't we just get bones from them instead? Probably be easier than hunting down elder antelope. I was just on my way to see him. Ah, uh, we were? <laughs> Didn't realize that, to be honest, but okay. Hippocrates, it is. Hello, sir. Your trick worked. Torgal seems happy. And we slayed the ah, last of the elder antelope. Were you able to locate your quarry? We were indeed, Lawsman. You pointed us in exactly the right direction. And Torgal's been a very happy hound ever since. Very good, very good. Lady Karen sends her thanks, by the way, for your part in solving the mystery. Ah, but that reminds me. After your last visit, I found myself pondering Torgal's talents. Have we learned you more? A conversation concerning Lady Jill's role in Torgal's transformation. I do, about I do. How she somehow woke the power within him. Precisely that. A reasonable conclusion, I thought. But one which raised certain questions in my mind. You see, the Fenrir of legend served Shiva and Shiva alone. And while the powers attributed to him are certainly impressive, the records imply they are somewhat different in nature to those you describe Torgal as having used. So you this is our special pup? That Torgal may be the beneficiary of more than one icon's power. Consider that in addition to Lady Jill, he has served as a loyal companion to you, your brother, and even the late Sid. In short, the icons hitherto near at hand, or should I say at poor, have been diverse and plenty, and that number has only grown as the realm's dominance have fallen to your sword. One can but speculate as to how all of this has affected Torgal. He has seemed more fierce of late. And if I'm not mistaken, he will grow fiercer still. 
we are fortunate indeed to be able to count him amongst our allies and not our adversaries. <laughs> so really, oh. what he's saying is he's more than an ally. The dominant should have just had Frostwolf friend. friends all along. Like <laughs> And there could have been like fire dogs, dark dogs, earth dogs, like all over the place. Honestly, some of the knowledge that has been lost to time in this world perplexes me. A lot of it seems awfully useful to just be forgotten. Sorry for the wait. Hidden away in books, collecting no, dust somewhere. Was worth it. You learned something about our sword then. I did better than that. My whetstone. Yes. But not one you'll find anywhere in Valestia. No wonder I couldn't get a same finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> One hit and all done, eh? Might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels. But <laughs> good luck on a battlefield. Your second opponent would be your last, no matter how good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the curse breakers an edge? I think so, yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel, I could probably even make a twin of the blade that rattled me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the curse breakers wouldn't know how to wheel properly, and that would see them through a single fire piece. Nah, no point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. But finishing our blades with a whetstone is fine. Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Or more hard wearing for that matter. Just imagine it. Good Valisthean steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy, nah. I'll make something much better. There you I'm go, sure Black the curse breakers will be delighted. Just Some useful stuff lost in the real no, world, so not surprised. <laughs> Don't you worry about like, me, sunshine. That useful, though? Like, <laughs> I can't actually think of anything, gone. off the top of my head at least. Hey. Thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one. August too. It's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. You come and find me when you've got the materials. All right. I will. I mean, the only one that comes to mind is like the the idea that Nikola Tesla had some way to make wireless transmission of energy for free for everyone, but like, yeah. There's no guarantee whatever he had planned before it was all destroyed would have come to fruition. Cool, yeah. So would it be Excalibur, you say? Not bad. Uh, I mean, it's better than what we have, and it's a special blade, so it should look it pretty good. you a good while. I don't think anything else new has been unlocked that matters. And we probably can't unlock Excalibur. Or, unlock, upgrade Excalibur. Cancer, plus one, platinum sword, guy blade, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no. Oh, no, wait, this is crafting, not reinforcing. Oh, so even the diamond sword's useless now. We never even unlock the ability to make the freaking thing. Imperial Link, yeah, white worm bone. We never found one of them. Anything else? Huh. Oh, well, whatever. Guess it doesn't matter now. Excalibur's better anyways. I went up to give some greens to the chocobo, and do you know what it did? Only it's a pretty it sword. Not as unique in design, I feel like, as the ones we were using, like Levin Bolt and Coral Sword and shit like that. Still cool. 
And of course, better than what we had. That's what really matters. Now, so far, these plus things have been like recipes for stuff. So are we going to figure out how to make more gear here? Maybe we should have waited to talk to Blackthorn. Did this first. All right there, Sid. How's that hunt for the bomb ash going? I have it here. Got your ash for your filters. That's now, how is this going to benefit me? And plenty of it, too. Enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while. You're a gent, Sid. Let nothing say otherwise. Who's been saying okay. otherwise about me? Let's get this contraption up and running. We can deal with them real quick. This fresh water thing can take a back seat for a moment. like the chief said it would <sighs> very impressive <laughs> says the man who cut down a burning boulder speaking of which I still haven't returned a favor there's no need the good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough don't be silly why do you let me take a look at that bag of yours the one you keep your potions in ah okay There's some magic on that huh? What kind of magic? Inventory upgrades? Well, we happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. Thought we might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. Ah, I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen it up enough for you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Well... It can't hurt to try, I suppose. That's the spirit. Leave it with me. I'll only be a mo. Can we just buy a new bag? Like, we have plenty of money, or at least have had plenty of money. Well, what do you reckon? It certainly feels more v flexible. Right? Told you. Thank you. I think. <laughs> I think. No, no. Thank you for supporting Mid and the rest of us in our endeavors. Without you, we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your bag. And I'm telling you, there's plenty more where that came from. That's a little creepy. Uh, <laughs> so what, like one of each consumable? Like one extra of each consumable, maybe? Is it gonna tell us? No. Oh, maybe here. Ah, more than that. Potions four to six, high potions three to four, and tonics two to three. Very cool. I wonder when we die if we'll still get like a full restock or if we'll just get the basic, like the four and the three or whatever. Or if we'll get the six and the four. All right, well that's everything side quest wise, finally. So now, so now we can get back here. Get a tiny bit of progress done on the main quest line. Game absolutely adores wasting your time with side quests. That's locked. So I'm assuming that's what links these two areas together. Weird that it's locked, though. It's like we have the other side unlocked, and obviously we have this side unlocked. So why can't we just travel between the two? Hell, how did we even get here? Because you can't travel to a crystal till you visit it once, right? This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the but where we appeared, we were just kind of surrounded by the mountains. The official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. It's fine. I'm sure we can deal with an outlaw or two. 
again. We literally murder dominance for fun. I think we'll be okay. It's a pretty view, that town. Hmm. Are these more leg biters or leg eaters, whatever the hell they're called. Yeah, leg eaters. It's okay. We can deal with you easy enough. And they're dead. Now what is this cart? So what do you think? Hello, Salsori. We'd be lucky to make Really? It's as bad as that. Oh why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. This fearsome looking fellow. You think he'd be equal to the task? Oh, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Seems like a trap. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a snarling, he ran leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. But he sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker, but I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. Are we sure it's not the cart we that we just passed? Share of action, true. But we've not got There's the one, like, just right back there that's the been bush. destroyed. You, however... Have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. I mean, that's reasonable. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway. You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. We're lucky you came along. Now... Hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. I mean, dragging that thing out of here would probably be great exercise, man. Or, this looks like it's on a slight slope. Just give it a little push, maybe we could surf it down the hill? I'm not sure I trust That sounds too. like a fun time. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. <laughs> Good to know I'm not alone in my distrust of them.
Come on, just die. You're so close. GG, Raider, sir. Thank God we got some steel silk. Would have been lost without that. Screw the card. Are there any chests or anything around here? Anything of interest? The houses are abandoned. Surely nobody would mind if we just pushed that door open and took a look inside, right? No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that's the usual. That's the... the, the uh, that's the expected answer for sure, but I can't help myself but to take a look though. There have been two chests with like equipment in it so far. Now granted, it wasn't equipment that I really ended up using for long, but still, they're not all useless. <laughs> Pretty close. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? No, they were by Should like uh, us? after all, like guard right towers or some shit like that. Fine warrior, whole cabbages to market. You've done your part, and that's all you need to worry about. Here. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's no need to be so rude, brother. There is a chest in the area, dead empath. Okay. What if we want his help again next time? How many times do you guys plan on getting into the same situation? Talking about needing my help next time. Dead end path. Well, that goes underneath. Oh, wait. So maybe that doesn't connect to that. We can't go down. Oh, wait. No, this is the one I was talking about. Yeah. So this one, I think, connects down to here. That one goes that way. Hmm. Okay. Not seeing any dead ends yet. So maybe further ahead. I see the Dalnecks lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. This looks like a fine bridge. He's on the other side. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> the random ropes. Were they planning on like building it straight across at some point, maybe? And then gave up on it? That would explain the, the ropes and the gap in it there. Dry and close. There you go. There you go. You guys are going to come alive, aren't you? Yeah. his attack pattern it just keeps looking like he's gonna attack <laughs> getting scared and guarding but nothing uh, they went down surprisingly easy nope nothing around here gonna be a pretty view at least it looks like it 
Is that the ocean? Oh, those are some big-ass waterfalls. Where does the water go? So this is a Megas. Like, so it's all falling into that crater, but... But it has to go somewhere, otherwise it would just fill up. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Don't worry about that. Long, long ago, <laughs> okay. Was by and challenged the gods in a bit to win their power. The final battle took place here. At these falls. Also the legend goes. <laughs> There's an ocean you can't see. <laughs> oh god, that's terrible. To those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. Technically, yeah, we are back on the, the main quest line again. Victorious. And this main quest line actually seems like it means something. It's not <laughs> nearly as pointless I as helping out mid. Upon him. Two curses. Now, granted, I'm sure the ship we were building for mid will have some use later on. But, like, the quest line the to do so was boring as shit, dude. I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to the all fetch quests, yeah, it, was it really it was, was man. Misunderstood. And every side quest is we either talk to this person or fetch this we? thing. If the you're the lucky, it's kill this thing, which isn't too bad. We I'll take a kill this thing quest. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Lander Bandit. You're not wrong. You're not it wrong. Good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I mean, something had to make that giant crater. Very well could have been a battle between the gods and men. Who knows? We'll be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. Five. Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. No. Use your words. It was something. <laughs> yeah, we should be getting close to one. It's been a solid couple of hours since we've had one. I see the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. Oh, good, our bitch mother. I have. And her weird son. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambre. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule and I can think of none better suited to the task the emperor or ex-emperor at this point I guess yeah there is other news Dion. I guess he's still labeled emperor Hugo Kupka is dead and Drake's fang destroyed the pillars of the Republic have fallen he's definitely being manipulated Ere long, the Imperial Banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grigo made flesh. Why do they believe that he's, like, the god of gods? I never really 
understood where that came from. Kid might as well be dead. He's fucking still going. <laughs> God, dude. Damn. Return to your camp, Dion. And ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. I really do hope Dion ends up being on our side. Father. And doesn't just die. Because of his loyalty to his father. Changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind. And my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths regarding the nature really just of wants to stick a sword through her man <sighs> and of the divine you would trust the words of this traitress she betrayed her country she slew her husband you have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek Prince Dion I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Oh, fuck these guys. Forgive I hate them all. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. <laughs> They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? I mean, there's nobody there's here now. You, you can just inherit your father's throne. Give her a little stabby stab. I have suffered worse. As much as I wanted to be by my Count sword, I just want to see her dead one Her way or another. child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? Aren't we the Emperor's son? I and mean, we always call him father. How are we base born? <laughs> Did he like impregnate a commoner or something? Is that what her problem is? That's yeah, exactly. That's what I'm wondering. We just need to hug the coast. That's the only thing that makes any sense. Hmm. <laughs> but, like, and she keeps talking up her own son like he's this some big hot shot, but so far we've seen nothing to show that her son with the Emperor has any abilities of note at all. Like, he seems like just a normal shitty kid. area yep okay that was pointless uh okay well here's a dead end so gotta check the dead ends always no spoilers no spoilers his radiance has lost one capital already we can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinside. Helguru? Hel Helguru. Ow, you dick. Okay. I well, okay. Can obviously not read your attacks at all. 
What'd you go down here for? Uh, excuse me? I can't even see you right now. Oh. God damn, you're gonna die to a hell guru. <laughs> Bro, when this shit happens, it's, I just, I literally can't see anything. I just mash square and hope for the best <laughs> when the screen gets like that. Nothing wrong, just creepy AF. <laughs> the fuck? GG, GG. Onward then. Yeah, see, you have these, like, groups of traders or commoners or whatever the hell they are just walking right through here when that thing was just chilling right there. Like, how do you not have protection with you at all times, man? I would not leave the city gates if I didn't have a small army with me. <laughs> or, you know, as skilled with a sword as someone like Clive is. They don't aggro. <laughs> okay, yeah, but like, the road to Randalar. Oh. The siege breaks. They'll need more than this to stop the Imperial Legions marching on the capital. Oh, I'm done for. If you haven't got a pass, you're not I'm not trying to get through. Empty shard. That seems new. Have we gotten an empty shard before? The other things are whatever, but. Okay, so that goes down into there. Oh, uh, no, the river does too. I was thinking maybe this is a really weird river, right? Maybe it somehow goes up and returns to the... Wait, what? No, that means rivers always flow to the lowest point. <laughs> so the river that flows all the way through here... ...comes down and ends here... ...in the giant crater? How does the crater work, dude? <laughs> I'm so confused. This crater is just... I don't like it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help it. What is this? The crater makes no damn sense. Is it just a void? Is the world flat? Is all the water just going into space? I just... The crater is something. Is there a giant creature under it just drinking all of the water? <laughs> It looks cool, but it bugs me. It makes no sense. Oh, I can't help it. It is pretty, though. I'll give them that much. More refugees. And they're all making for the crystalline dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the crystal's blessing. Well, they're gonna have to learn soon. <laughs> uh. Ah, yeah, fuck it. I'm not going over there. It's pointless. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Hurry, man. I must keep Any... Bloody cruising oh, they still have at least one crystal. Collecting fresh water in the well over here. Time to earn the next badge. Yep, undoubtedly. 
I honestly thought that would stop after we lost the mark of the, the bears. Because, you know, people don't have a reason to distrust us anymore, I guess. Don't really have a reason to trust us either, but... The wheel and the crescent. Uh, if our new arrivals had brought any coin with them, we'd be rich. A tavern keeper. Okay, I thought this was another brothel, not gonna lie. Our traders and travelers, weary of foot, parched a throat and light a belly to rest a while within our premise. No bearers in the snug. Okay, well. Bear hate is still strong, good to know. Not that I'd expect much else. Uh, where's Goat Scoots? I always forget how his name's pronounced. I was a crystal. I was like, whoa, what the hell just blew up in the middle of town? Wonders from across the water. Come one, it's a nice come little all. village. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... They're refugees, man. They probably don't have any money. Ooh. How much for a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. They are more than welcome to look. Ramu? Instead of Ramu? Or is Ramu wrong? <laughs> How do you actually pronounce it? Hold on. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a full Rama? line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Oh, I see. Good, shall we? See, I always assumed Ramu as well. Yeah. He must be around here somewhere. I've always pronounced it Ramu because that's just made the most sense for me given, you know, Japanese game and all that. But from what I'm reading here, yeah, it was based off of the deity Rama. Hmm. <laughs> the more you know. Come taste my peaches. They're sweet as nectar. Uh, where is he? He's got to be around here somewhere. Hello. Oh, there he is. How'd I miss the big fella? <laughs> Nearly as large as Titan he is. There you are. Scoots. Scoots. I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goots. Just tell us what happened. It's betrayed us, Pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago. I've always said Kate Sif. Me and, yeah, you don't think that they're That's how I've always said it. Is that wrong? <laughs> it's probably like wrong. This is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the past back, Probably like we need to find this kite child. or something. <laughs> where would we even start? I, I know where. I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. Oh, so we're both wrong, good. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Kachi. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. Hachi. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff. Hachi. They've shown out else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. What's that cut? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, then. I think I'll just stick with uh, Kate Sith on that one. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> teach their own, I suppose. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo, then. Hachi. And the other one on purses. That is so weird, man. Don't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Oh, I haven't like really looked at it much, um, other than when I was figuring out where Sam Breck is. But 
I found out where Sam Breck is thanks to this website here. It has a full interactive map if there's anything you're still missing for Final Fantasy 16 that you need to find. I've only looked at the, the map of Valisthea and I only found the Emperor or the Holy Empire of Sam Breck and then stopped. But it seems like it has like everything on it. If you're still looking for anything and need Caravan to find it. Stops next to the I may end up using it if we don't run into him naturally to figure out where that stupid hunt is. The, <laughs> the one with, that's just a bunch of question marks, the S rank one. Make for the Crimson Caravans? Crimson Caravan? Isn't Crimson Caravan a Fallout thing? Isn't that what they call? Bloody Crimson Caravan, scooping up all the best customers. Is it Crimson Caravan? I can't remember. Looking yeah, the one that says it's in Rosaria or something this like that. The ruins of Rosaria. To the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. But it's just a bunch of question marks for its actual location. That's just like the hint I got from reading the description. As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Boklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. Yeah, this Crimson Caravan in Fallout. Oh, that was the last one you found? I mean, it makes sense. It doesn't give you an actual location for it. It'll probably so be the last one I find, too. I'm hoping I just kind of run into it naturally yeah. while exploring around doing side pass. quests and shit, but we'll see. Stolen by a little burn. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. She's not wrong, though. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little bairn could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Oh, is it? I then never would have known that. We can be on our way. <laughs> An Electro Swing Group. Nice. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. Uh, well, we're kind of wanted <laughs> by every take you for traders, but I kingdom in the that's world. Why you came to me, correct? Now. I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Well, probably to either sell it or to get on the caravan themselves, I would. Or the whatever. I would assume. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion. The Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. Yeah, I really don't so think we need this explanation. Passes to sell on the black market. Yes. And no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners. And yet, none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. So they're, Which like, means? counterfeiting them? That someone is doctoring mm -hmm. the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are... They're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants, which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back, and we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Don't think we really have much of a is choice at the end of the day. other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh, I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, <laughs> right? Goots, calm down. 
Chill. So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. Or just buy our own doctored one on the black market, right? We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah, but I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. You likely wouldn't be saying that if you knew who I really was. <laughs> Seal obtained. Look at that. Does that mean the side quests? The furniture makers by the coach stop I thought they had stopped, the man. They never stop. That, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. <laughs> like you have the guilt for that. That's true. I am <laughs> pretty fucking broke at the moment. That's because I've started buying the orchestrian rolls because I'm like, ah, I'm not going to need the money for anything else. <laughs> Might as well. Ah. Ah. Really? No side quests? Bruh. Okay, cool. Well, in that case, we'll go ahead and uh, continue the main mission. No. This seems like a pretty good stopping point, actually. Well, it is 9 o'clock. Uh, uh, not sell. Purchase. No. This. 20,000? Well, whatever. Gilbert we'll get it eventually, probably. Alrighty. Well, yeah. With no side quests or anything to do, I think that's it for me, guys. Just enough time to take a nap and make dinner before uh, I get up and play D&D with the boys tonight. Today is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Um, okay, I know it didn't end up happening last week because I ended up having more stuff to do than I had planned. But I'm still hoping either Tuesday or Wednesday to play some games, whether tomorrow night or the, the, the day after. Um... I'm thinking of maybe doing something on the PS2, though, whether it's Final Fantasy X, hopping back into that or starting to get back into that, or just a random game. I don't know. It's just, uh, I still love Final Fantasy XVI for the most part, but I'm feeling the need for a little bit of variety. So we might maybe do something different tomorrow night or uh, for a little bit on Wednesday. We'll find out then. I'll uh, post on Discord, of course, if uh, need be. You're calling at 13? 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon? Um, <laughs> that, seems, that seems a bit... <laughs> Do a random if Wednesday? It'll probably end up being random. Either way, whether it's Tuesday or Wednesday, to be honest with you. Um, just because, like, yeah. 12.15 if there's no response in Discord? Why 12.15, sir? 12.30 is when I'd be getting online anyways. I'll just ignore your message until 12.30. But <laughs> anyways, yeah. So maybe a random PS2 game tomorrow night or uh, tomorrow or the day after in the afternoon. We shall see. I will keep everyone updated in Discord. But uh, yeah, no. I'm very tired. I'm going to take a nap. Have a good night, guys. Uh, thank you for coming and hanging out with me while we continued Final Fantasy 16. I need to remember to save real quick. And, uh, yeah, as always, be kind to each other. <laughs> Bye, guys. Kind of, as I save. We're getting there. There we go. All right. <laughs> Bye. I'm walking so, right now. So if, like, uh, someone hadn't readied up or hadn't picked a location yet, then it'll unready us.